Good evening. You're watching the news on Croatian television. Prime Minister Andrei Plenković spoke at the beginning of today's cabinet session on the ongoing border dispute with Slovenia and the strain it has placed on their bilateral relations. Croatian fishermen can rest assured that the Croatian government will stand firmly behind our position and the obligations we have undertaken in this regard. We will make sure that we protect Croatian interests and territorial integrity, as well as the rights of our Croatian fishermen. We are disappointed with the ongoing situation, but it's important to repeat that this is exclusively because Slovenia has begun to act unilaterally. This goes against the spirit of good neighborly relations and international law. So far, 11 Slovenian fishermen have been issued fines from Croatian authorities for illegally crossing the maritime border at Savudrija Bay. Croatia has undertaken the measures in response to Slovenian fines issued to Croatian fishermen. Slovenian media reported that the fines would be handled at the state level. The government has declared the liquid natural gas terminal on the island of Krk to be of strategic importance. This means that all phases of its development and realization will be given priority, including both the terminals on land and at sea. Economy Minister Martina Dalic said the project would be completed by the end of next year. The aim of this decision is to expedite the preparation of all relevant aspects so that the realization of the project may begin. In this way, we hope to make sure that the project is completed as planned by the end of 2019. The first session of the government's committee for drafting a national development strategy was held earlier today. Employers, unions and academics will help define the national development priorities for the next decade. The government hopes to get a wide political consensus for its implementation once the strategy has been completed. We would very much like the strategy to be implemented. There needs to be a concrete ten-year development plan for Croatia that must be accepted across the political spectrum. In this way, it wouldn't matter which party was in power because the implementation of the plan would already be in place. The strategy should not be altered every three to four years because this would keep us running in circles with no clear direction. Meanwhile, the government is set to begin negotiations with healthcare workers for a new collective bargaining agreement after the existing deal expired on December 2nd. The government and healthcare workers have until the end of the month to reach a new deal. Health Minister Milan Kujic will lead the government's negotiating team. According to the European Commission's statistics agency, the unemployment rate across the Union has stagnated, but not in Croatia. Eurostat has Croatia in the group of countries that have recorded the largest drop in unemployment on a monthly and yearly basis. At the same time, the EU average of 7.3% is the lowest since October 2008. The Croat, Serb and Muslim members of the Presidency of Bosnia and Herzegovina met in Brussels with the President of the European People's Party, Josef Dahl, to discuss proposed changes to the country's election laws. We will continue with our discussions in order to reach a solution in the shortest amount of time. I believe that we will meet this month in Sarajevo together with international organizations so that we may finally agree on a solution regarding the election law. The elections are coming up fast and we must all share the responsibility of the consequences if those elections do not take place. We must make a concerted effort to reach an acceptable solution. Local governments had until today to adopt a nationwide directive on the separation of household waste. Environment Minister Tomislav Chodic said he expected most local governments to comply, while those who did not would face the consequences. Those who have avoided implementing this decision will have to face the penalties. First and foremost, they have disappointed their own citizens who would like to separate their household waste. At the end of the day, they failed to respect the decisions that they were obliged to follow. Taking a quick look at sports and tennis, a draw has revealed the matchups for the first round of the Davis Cup World Group between Croatia and Canada being held in Osijek. Borna Cioric will play the first match on Friday versus Peter Polanski. For now, Croatia's top player, Marin Cilic, will be on the sidelines following a run to the finals of the Australian Open last weekend. My body is simply too exhausted. I had my first training on clay yesterday and I realized that my body is not physically ready. This last tournament really took a lot out of me. There's also the factor of psychological fatigue, which also has taken its toll.
The weather forecast for tomorrow calls for partly sunny skies in the far east. Western regions and parts of the far south will be mostly cloudy and rainy. A relatively warm morning will give way to a drop in temperatures in the afternoon, ushering in snow flurries in mountainous regions, as well as Mejimurie and Zagorie. Low lying areas of the continent can expect snow overnight into Saturday. The Adriatic coast could see torrential rains drop more than 50 liters per square meter. A strong to gale force southeasterly and southerly wind will prevail on the coast, while areas of the north will see an equally strong northeasterly. Morning lows of 2 to 7 degrees inland and from 8 to 12 on the coast and the Istrian Peninsula will give way to highs of 11 to 16 degrees Celsius. Most areas of the continent will get snow on Saturday. Skies are expected to clear by the end of the day. Negative temperatures in the morning on Sunday will continue into early next week. Rains will continue on the Adriatic coast on Saturday. Strong to gale force southeasterly and southwesterly winds will prevail in the far south, while the north will continue to get a northeasterly. Sunday will be more stable, while increased southeasterly winds early next week could usher in more isolated showers. And that brings us to the end of our program. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again tomorrow night.